since December 23rd actually marks the 100th anniversary of President Woodrow Wilson signing the Federal Reserve Act. But the Fed had a big celebration today uh, with remarks from Chairman Ben Bernanke, former chairs Alan Greenspan and Paul Volcker. Probably because all the FOMC you know, members and bank presidents are in town for the meeting that starts tomorrow, the policy meeting that starts tomorrow, and get the announcement Wednesday. But the Republican chairman of the House Financial Services Committee uh, seems to be raining on their parade a little bit, announcing what he calls the most comprehensive, ambitious oversight of the Fed ever next year, with more than a dozen hearings and a bunch of studies examining the Fed's mission and stimulus programs, especially quantitative easing. Chairman Jeb Henseling, a frequent Fed critic, says his goal is legislation to reform the Fed, which he says, says needs to be more accountable. I want the Fed to have independence on the conduct of traditional monetary policy, but I become increasingly fearful um, that we are losing the checks and balances uh, within our government. Henseling says that any legislation will grow out of the findings of his committee's work, but uh, the top Democrat on his committee is pushing back on this. Maxine Waters says, quote, before we contemplate legislative changes to the Fed or its mandate, Congress should allow the Fed to finalize the important reforms included in the Dodd-Frank Act. We should not rush into reform of the Fed itself merely for the sake of doing so. David and Liz. Peter.